Hey y'all, it's Katie with Pluff Mud Princess Outdoors. We're out here in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. We're gonna try to get us on trout today. Um, see if we can't get them biting. It's a beautiful day. The water temperatures have dropped down. It's about 54 degrees in the water, about 60 outside. So it is just a gorgeous day. Let's see if we can't get on some nice fish. All right, y'all stick around. Over here to our right, we're gonna just kind of fish all up and down that. I swear you could come out here, but nothing but your bare hands and a rod and still find tackle enough to catch a fish for the day. One sweet thing about these kayaks. Feels like a nice, ooh, that was a nice trout. Not a bad flounder at all. Check that body out. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Some good stuff. Feels good to be back on the water. Y'all check that gorgeous flounder out. It's a beautiful little flounder. We're gonna put him back in the water. Let him grow up for a bigger day. He's gonna be dinner one day here soon though. All right, let's put him back. Flounder's only probably about 12, 13 inches. There he goes, he's gone. All right, boys, second cast. Check that beautiful spot tail out. Unfortunately, that is not a tag on the back of that fish's back. It's a parasite. So we're gonna get that off of that little guy. And a lot of people think that these parasites end up in your meat. They won't. They're usually just on the scale or the fin of the fish. We're gonna remove that for that guy. Check that beautiful fish out, guys. That is a beautiful spot now. Literally caught a flounder, we caught a spot tail. Almost everything but a trout, but we've still got a few more hours of sunshine. So we're gonna see if we can't get that trout we've been looking for. All right, y'all, we'll go up this little feeder creek, see if we can't get some fish on the other side of these pylons. Fun fact, I lost a pen 2500 here, full combo, so I live around this area and find one. Yeah. <laughs> I do get a lot of questions from people about how do you know what depth of water are you in? I don't have any sonar, no electronics on this guy. Just some land power, fish power. Um, so like I said, I can see the bottom here. I know it's probably a bud that here. But sometimes in these deeper waters, this paddle I use here is about six foot. So I know, you know, depending on how far that paddle goes down in the water, it kind of gives me a good idea of how to get it. So I'll show you all my depth finder. Like I said, I got about a six foot paddle here. So all I do is shoot down. Well, two foot. <laughs> no electronics needed. 
needed. <laughs> Easy peasy. All right, y'all, it's about dead low tide in the creek right now. We had a great day. We tried to get on some trout, but seemed to catch everything but. Um, so we got a toadfish, nice flounder, little flounder, and um, a spot tail going home for dinner. So that should be delicious. Y'all tune in um, next week. We're gonna try to get back on some trout. They've definitely been around. I mean, there's reports of them. Uh, I think today was just a little too warm. Water's a little cold. Might've just thrown them off a little bit. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in to Pluff Mud Princess Outdoors. See you next week. I tag on your clothes. There's no dollar sign on a piece of mind. This I've come to know.